This is the Independence Avenue, previously known as Kaiser Street. It was the first road to be paved in Windhoek in 1928. But who was Kaiser? Kaiser Wilhelm reigned as Emperor of Germany from 1888 until his abdication in 1918, shortly before Germany's defeat in World War I. The main street in Windhoek, Kaiser Street, then stretched from Garutura residential area right through to the central business district. Many streets today have been renamed not only to local names, but after key foreign figures as well. The Khababes Road and Klein Vendukvach were renamed to Sam Nyoma Drive and Nelson Mandela Avenue, respectively. And just as both leaders stood for a common cause to liberate their countries, this intersection in Klein Vendukvach paints the same picture of togetherness. Nyoma also shares an avenue with Ghanaian revolutionary Kwame Kruma and late Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe. But what is the process of having a street renamed? We come and uh, apply to the city of Ventura to say, listen, this person uh, contributed positively to the country. Can we at least have a street named after him? One of the streets in Gadotura bears the name of Reinhard Maikopo. He campaigned for Namibia's freedom alongside Chief Osea Kutako. Really fearless and he fought against any supremacy. He further went on to, 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 to advance the agenda of Swapo Party to unite the tribes among Namibians and to fight for a good common goal of the independence that we are enjoying today. Streets in the Havana informal settlement on the western side of the city, on the other hand, bear the names of local towns, while Oshomuise is dotted with names of capital cities of foreign countries. More name proposals for naming and renaming are pending for approval in the municipal chambers. The road network in the city's boundary has also improved greatly over the years. Vinduk now has an 800-kilometer road network with most of it tied. This has transformed many streets such as Dunk in Chandubala, which was one of the dustiest streets of Gadotura in 1994. Today, some have been surfaced and tied, while others still need upgrading. However, the city of Vinduk has a mammoth task in transforming informal settlements within social services and road infrastructure.